Spoon! Yes, the Tick is back, guys. The third uh, TV iteration of the Tick now with Amazon doing a new pilot. There's one of their pilot season things where they don't know yet if they're gonna pick it up for a full series. It's on Amazon Prime, but you know, you check it out and they decide down the line if they're gonna do it. So how is this new take on the Tick? Uh, it's darker, which yes is strange. It took a little adjusting uh, because you don't think of the Tick at all as a dark character. But I will say it did work for me as it went on and I kind of got more into what they were doing. Should stress here, Ben Edlin, the creator of The Tick, has amazingly stayed connected to this character in every iteration, including here. So whether you like it or not, uh, it is the creator of The Tick doing this version. Uh, what it basically does is take The Tick and modernize him as far as all the different superhero adaptations, TV shows, movies we're getting these days. And whether you look at the DC movies like Batman vs Superman or Suicide Squad or even the Marvel Netflix shows, there's a lot of dark, tortured superheroes out there, right? And this is The Tick doing that. It is a comedy, don't worry, it's still a comedy, but it's more of a sort of kick-ass type comedy, right? Where things are more brutal, uh, there are consequences, there is death, uh, but all with a comic tinge, always with a sense of humor. Uh, it's also more sort of psychological. The Tick was always sort of absurdist, and this is as well, but it's also looking at these characters through sort of a, a prism of what if they're really screwed up? Arthur, who is really the main character in the pilot, uh, you know, he has mental issues going back to sort of a childhood trauma we get into. And the Tick himself is definitely off in a different way. Uh, the Tick here, I hope I get his name right pronunciation wise, uh, Peter Serafinowicz. I don't think I got his name right, but I tried. Uh, I really liked his take on it because he's playing a guy who's, who's off, who feels like something is really wrong with him while he's also sort of the boisterous, brash Tick that we know and love, but taking it into this version. Uh, the energy of it is a little ebb and flow. There's some times where I thought there were some lulls in it. And also because it's a pilot and also because it's an origin story basically for Arthur, you don't get a real idea of what a sort of superhero versus supervillain battle will be fully formed on this show, even though it does take place in a world where there are superheroes everywhere. Uh, so I still want to sort of see what it will be on an ongoing basis, but I guess that's the important thing is I do want to see more. Uh, I hope it gets picked up as a series because I think it does show a lot of promise and I think that you can do something with this in this day and age of so many superhero adaptations to take the tick to use him to reflect all that's going on in a, in a different way and I like that Ben Edlin is approaching it from that, that aspect. So I liked it a lot. Uh, I gave it a 7.5. You can read my full review on IGN.com and we'll see if they pick it up. But for plenty more on the tick and all things superheroes and adaptations, keep it here at IGN.